one, one, two, oh, six. So finally arrived in the Gold Coast. I've got my accreditation. Da, 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 da. My card, which gets me, I think, unlimited drinks. Um, and then we got a little goodie bag. And inside we have a cute little cap. We have a towel. We have the mascot. I actually can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, we have this guy. We have a power bank, a little Gold Coast pin, and a little wristband as well. Our new little apartment in the village for the next week. Du -du -du. Koala, just above my bed. Just what I want. So I finally arrived into the village. It's quite nice um, just to, yeah, finally be here. I actually feel like the competition's about to start now rather than being sort of two hours up the coast outside of it all. Um, so yeah, it's a little surreal being back in the village again. Um, I suppose it's bringing back some memories 2014 and the Olympic Games as well. It's so unusual. Um, obviously it only happens every four years for Commonwealth every four years for Olympics. So um, yeah, it's, it's a nice environment to be in. I almost forgot how big the village is. Um, so much going on, so busy, loads of people around. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm so excited to race now. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to be here and get that excitement. As I said, being out of it, um, you can get a little bit stale, I suppose, um, and not feel like you're competing. Whereas now I'm in the village, I feel like Ah, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to get out there and race now. Um, so yeah, this is my first day. I have another day tomorrow where I'll go down to the track, do a bit of a warm up, drill, strides, and catch up with my mum, and then race day on Monday. So yeah, it's a little bit weird tapering down. You feel a bit on edge. You feel like you want to go out and train and um, keep myself busy. Um, but yeah, now's the time to relax take the time to chill out and do as little as I possibly can um, but our room is really really nice we have a nice view as well outside you can't really see um, but yeah we have some nice pools around as well but unfortunately I won't be spending too much time outside I'll definitely be spending a lot of time and this guy sleeping um, and eating and that's about it so yeah wish me some luck Quite impressive. <laughs> uh, I'm on in three hours time. What are you doing? Uh, I did the 1500, but I'm now oh, away to do the. Yeah. I've got 5,000 meters today. The 5,000. 5,000. Yeah. Oh, you're
unfortunately my Commonwealth Games didn't quite go as planned or as I would have liked. Um, with regards to like the jet lag, things like that, we, I think I feel like preparation went really well. Um, I went out early enough, we spent three weeks on the Sunshine Coast and then a week in the Gold Coast um, over the competition and yeah, I felt really good. I actually put together three of the best weeks of training I've ever, ever done. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm a little frustrated and a bit disappointed with my race and um, that's the most frustrating part about it is that training can be going so, so well but for some reason it doesn't just quite click for the race and um, perhaps it's, I feel like it's probably I missed a big chunk of training over the indoors mainly because I was sick when I came back from Kenya and then obviously I tried to do an indoor season so you end up missing that sort of base training phase that I would normally have and perhaps that, that played a part, I'm not sure and perhaps it wasn't, it, probably from that it maybe wasn't the most sensible decision to try and double and do the 1500 and the 5k but training would be going so well um, and that's that's the hardest part I think for me um, I've been running times faster than I ever have in every single session from my speed work to some of my longer stuff as well so that's what was, was I don't know I suppose most frustrating for not just me but my coach my mum obviously um, but I mean I have to take the positives from it. My 1500 was my third fastest 1500 of all time, um, uh, of, of, of ever, 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 not that I do it very often, but still. Um, and it was also under the Commonwealth Games record, so it was a fast race, I mean, it, was, it was a good enough performance, and to be a second off the medals in the 1500, um, it, was, it, was, it was decent, it was good enough. Um, my 5k felt way, way short of where I felt I was, or where I felt I should be. Um, to be that far down, it was disappointing for me and to be honest the last mile I was really really struggling and it shouldn't be like that that shouldn't be the case so I don't know if it's just a little bit of fatigue from the 1500 a little bit of fatigue from as I said the indoor season being a bit sick um, and just not being able to knit it together in the race but yeah I don't know there's a lot to work on and um, now I'm looking forward to getting into like another I've got two weeks of training now in Doha before the Doha Diamond League where I'll do a 3k and then I'll go into a big block of training um, before opening the outdoor season for in Europe somewhere. Um, I'm not quite too sure what races I'll be doing, but I will be focusing on the 5K this year. That's the event I want to focus on, the one I feel I should make big improvements on. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed. So. Oh. so that's me just getting told that my flight has been delayed <laughs> even further. <laughs> Which is a great a great way to end my, my championships. I feel like um, yeah, this is the icing on the cake of four and a half hour delays so far and, and counting. Um, but yeah, Australia's been really cool, it's been good fun. Um, I didn't obviously get to see much of it throughout the games, but um, yeah, what I what I did see I, I enjoyed. Everyone was so friendly, the, the stadium was amazing and the crowds were brilliant. So um, yeah, certainly positives and some negatives to take away from the champs.